Now, we uh, recently did a video on being oblivious to failure, uh, but this kind of uh, is another way to look at that, and this is uh, relentless optimism. And uh, this is something you just got to keep uh, constant focus on and going into battle each and every day. And as you go into this, you have to be relentless in, in your positivity or, or really that your belief in that you're going to get there or you're going to find a way to get there no matter what is the number one quality you have going into this. Having the right attitude and the right character going into this, without that, you're, you're doomed to fail because you might get to your early goals as a beginning. You might get these, these cheap, easy successes in the beginning, but that big destination you're after, if you're not relentless in your pursuit and your optimism and your ability to handle failures and cope with the process, you're, you're, gonna ha you're setting yourself up for a major disaster. So you got to be able to, it's like Edison and the light bulb, you know, 10,000 uh, attempts to make the light bulb and he found 10,000 ways how not to make the light bulb in one successful way. If you can't get that bulletproof in your, your mentality with this, you're not going to get to anything great that you're really seeking in, in health and performance. So uh, you have to be relentless in your pursuit, relentless in, in uh, enjoying the process. If you don't, it's an acquired taste and it's different for everybody. Some people like running, some people like weightlifting, you name it. Uh, whatever your goal might be, it has to, you have to find that mental headspace of being relentless and that positivity that you're going to get there or, or you're going to die trying. And at the end of the day, you're going to respect yourself for that whether you make it or not, because you put in everything that you could, and at the end of the day, you can look back and say, hey, I did everything I could in my power to do it. You can't blame the person for trying. You know, the, the, everyone's gonna give that person respect, everyone, even if they fail. That, that, that's the winner in all of our stories, in, in all the movies you ever see. That's the winner, that's the people's favorite. Uh, you know, and on top of that, if you win, that's even better. If you get to that goal, which the only way you can get to these really extreme high level, level uh, ended goals, is to keep your eyes on the prize and realizing how much work is involved. Any Olympic athlete, pro athlete, uh, you know, there's some extremely gifted ones out there. But the, the trend is, is, is hours and hours a day beating yourself uh, in your craft and your training to finally get yourself there. And this is for years and years and years. You know, there's so much competition out there, and, and think the bar is always constantly being raised. Uh, if you if you you're not good at coping and finding a way to to find the positivity in this, you're never going to make it. So um, whether you're beginner to advanced. Uh, you need to be relentless in your optimism, optimism and learn how to, to deal with defeat and realizing that it's all part of the process and that your defeats are actually gifts of, and rewards to let you know how to make the right decision the next time. And they're learning processes that are crucial and relevant. If you don't learn from them and you let them knock you off the horse and it makes you negative, you lost. That's when you lose. That's what, when you're wasting time. Life's too short. You don't have the time to sit there and, and grovel in your defeat. You need to get back on the horse and get focused and get back to work. The more you do that, the more you can rebound and get back on track, back on track, back on track. The less time you waste and the closer you're getting to your goal. Uh, the more you let the, the, the feet knock the wind out of you, the more time you're going to waste. And sometimes you never let it, let it, uh, your wind come back and you never get back on the horse. So, so in this process, you need to realize many times that the journey itself is the reward. You know, my, my goal starting with Olympic lifting was to be the strongest man on earth and to be an Olympic champion and all that. Like, I'm sure every other Olympic lifter's dreams and ambitions are out there. But at the end of the day, the most rewarding to me that I had to realize was the journey is the reward. And I love being a weightlifter and I love doing the training and I love the process. And that's the best gift I could have possibly ever gotten from the sport. And I love it. And, I, and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. And that's just training in general. And it's, it's an amazing gift. It's amazing for your character, uh, for your health, your longevity, your attitude, and everything about you, really. Uh, so if you don't get that first intrinsic benefit and you're only focused on this peripheral goal, perhaps, this championship, whatever, then you might be missing a lot of uh, nice benefits on the way there. But uh, remain optimistic. Uh, there, you know, you got to keep hope. you got to keep faith. Sometimes that's all you're going to have. And sometimes uh, that's going to be the last thing keeping you going from a never-ending spiral of failure and self-doubt. And you can't have that. you got to have you know, all the belief in the world and confidence and then some, sometimes it's luck to get you out of, out of those ruts to get you back on the track of success and to continue to move forward.